Hello students. Welcome to my class, Your Dose of Science. Before we proceed to our lesson, let me show you a video clip and let us answer the questions that follow. And metal too It can hit earth and that's an issue But we're okay Hey I Tell your friend that's right belt we find them But I hope one never hits us again You know they break apart Move by gravity someone near so far And four years close calls Now we're looking quickly in amongst the stars They fly from high, they drop So they be pulling closer in the black sea They left over from the birth is where they form Ice and dust orbits are over Tell we see right comets, coma, asteroids, rock and metal Most we locate, felt their boulders, meteoroids, space all over After watching the video, what have you observed? If you answer shooting star, you are amazing. Our lesson is about meteoroid, meteor, and meteorite. Have you ever seen a shooting star in the night sky? It appears as an object with a tail just like a comet. It travels quickly and appears to fall on the ground. A shooting star is another name for a meteor. But the truth is, a meteor is not a star at all. A meteor is a light phenomenon or a streak of light that occurs when a meteoroid burns up as it enters Earth's atmosphere. A meteoroid is a broken up rock and dust from either a comet, asteroid, the moon, or from Mars. What is a meteor? A meteor is a light phenomenon, or a streak of light is observed from Earth when a meteoroid passes through Earth's atmosphere. Residents of several cities in the UK noticed a meteor on the night of Monday, March 1st. The footage shows the track of a space object in the sky, which appeared during the combustion of the body in the atmosphere. It is noted that the phenomenon was seen in London, Birmingham, Bristol and other British cities. What is a meteoroid? A meteoroid is a fragment from a comet, an asteroid, moon, or even Mars that orbits around the Sun, following the orbit of its parent or source. Nearly 50 tons of space debris crash onto the Earth every day. While some debris shyly dissipate. What celestial objects can a meteoroid come from? Meteoroids can come from comets, asteroids, the Moon, and Mars. What causes a meteor? A meteor is observed when a meteoroid passes through Earth's atmosphere and burns up in the process. Nearly 50 tons of space debris crash onto the Earth every day. While some debris shyly dissipate into the atmosphere, others display a spectacular light show. Meteor showers occur when the Earth's orbit intersects with the orbit of a comet. As comets travel, they leave behind trails of rocky material oftentimes the size of pebbles or grains of sand, but sometimes as large as boulders. Every year, the Earth crosses these trails of debris, known as meteoroid streams, and the planet becomes sprinkled with rocky material. The debris then race through the Earth's atmosphere, creating friction with air particles and generating vast amounts of heat. This heat vaporizes and illuminates the debris as they fall, creating streaks of light in the sky popularly known as shooting stars. 
These celestial light shows are often named after the constellation where they appear to originate as seen from Earth's surface. Meteor showers that seem to fall from the constellation Perseus are called the Perseids, and those appearing from the constellation Gemini are called the Geminids. About 30 meteor showers can be seen from Earth throughout the course of a year. How can you differentiate a meteor from a comet when viewed from Earth? What differentiates the two when see them in the sky is that a comet moves slowly and appears in the sky for a longer time. A meteor moves swiftly and seems to fall on the ground. When viewed from Earth, a meteor moves fast while a comet moves slow. Also, a comet is very difficult to see with an unaided eye due to its distance from Earth. A meteor is more readily seen on a cloudless night. A meteorite usually all burns up when it enters Earth's atmosphere. But when a fragment from the meteorite survives and make it to the ground, this rock fragment is now called a meteorite. Let me show you a video of a meteorite exploding over Russia happened eight years ago. A meteorite usually all burns up when it enters Earth's atmosphere. But when a fragment from the meteorite survives and make it to the ground, this rock fragment is now called a meteorite. Showing you the difference among meteoroid, meteor, and meteorite. Meteoroid was described as follows chunk of rock or dust in space comes from comets or asteroids most are of 10 meters or Less hundred tons enter the Earth's atmosphere each day burn up quickly in the atmosphere and never reach the surface where a meteor enters Earth's atmosphere and also called shooting. Stars most are tiny specks of dust larger meteor produce fireballs on a meteorite most are small. And do not produce significant craters can be categorized into three iron, stony, stony iron. When a meteoroid enters Earth's atmosphere, friction with the air creates heat and produces a streak of light that you can see in the sky which is called meteor shower. Examples of meteor shower, Perseid meteor shower, Oranid meteor shower, Leonid meteor shower, Taurid meteor shower. Meteoroids are pebble-sized particles that are believed to be debris of other celestial bodies. Like asteroids, when a meteoroid enters the Earth's atmosphere, it is called a meteor. The friction during the collision of a meteor with the air produces the light that is seen in the dark night sky. The debris left from the collision of a meteor with the atmosphere is called a meteorite. Activity, direction, read each sentence. Write the number of each sentence in the correct place on the Venn diagram. Additional activity, direction, create an infographic poster or brochure showing the difference. Among meteoroid, meteor, and meteorite, the following are some examples.